We are kicking off one of our newest segments and it is a thriller. Just hold on to your seats, literally, because I am joined by the next sensation there is. And his name, out from behind production, back in front, is no other than Nick Vindicombe. There he is, right here. New you talent. You are too polite, Ross. I am too polite. I've been accused of that. <laughs> I can imagine. I have, Nick. I've, I've worked with you for a little while now. We have now, and you're always the sunshine behind. You're never in front of the camera. Rarely ever. We're going to expose you, Nick, right? You're I'm putting yourself out there. Exposed. You should feel exposed. Very. So what are you going to be exposing us to? Well, uh, when I was 16, I had a bright idea. Yeah. And I bought a car. Ooh. And it was going to be the car that I drove to high school graduation. Yes. Cool guy. I graduated college two years ago now. <laughs> <laughs> so I no missed car. that mark. Just no car. No bit, car. No bit, car. A little bit. Doesn't run. <laughs> Doesn't run. But uh, I hope to change that. What kind of car is it? It is a 1972 <gasps> Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. Oh, that's a beautiful car. Mm -hmm. I think one of my older brothers may have had one of those in his dating yeah, days. Yeah, I, I would imagine. That's it, a cool cat car. They are cool cars, but they're not extremely popular. So it's kind of like a... Uh, I guess you know, like a people's car. You know, like yeah. it's, it's it's not a, not like your Mustangs or your Camaros. Yeah. It's it's a little more unpopular, I guess you could say. So, but it's, so it's going to be something like my generation, like my brothers or your parents would have had, right? Yeah, yeah. I, my dad once said he wished he had a cool car like wow. that when he was my age. And you're going to restore it. That's the goal. Um, it's there, there's a lot of different <laughs> levels of restoration, and the one that I can afford is more. Uh, yeah. You know, making yeah. it so that it's not going to get worse as it gets older. Yeah. Making it safe, but doing the least amount of work I need to do to get it on the road so that I can just enjoy it. And you're going to take us on that journey, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I actually already recorded a first little yes. bit of it. Yes. It's, uh, the journey is already partway through because, you know, we yeah. had it. It's been about six years now. Yeah. Um, so it's already in a certain state that it wasn't <laughs> when it was bought. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this will hopefully end with me firing up and we got and a road trip, street. road trip. Any I'd curse words? Any curse words as you're doing this? Do I'm, we think? Should we put a label? Have a swear jar. Okay, I'm I gonna think be, I'm going to try to be good, Ross. Okay, I promise. That's a big thing for you, I know. I promise. This okay. is a family show. It is. People. Yeah. Family show. Okay. And yeah. there's going to be grease on your face, and are we going to get like <laughs> those kind of shots? Hope, hopefully, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, no fires. You know, Nothing that like that. A little fire extinguisher ready to go. Yes. Can I wear overalls and come and join you sometimes? I would love it. I would you love to come that. Join. I would love that. I might bring some guest stars. How about that? Yeah, we'll see we what could else. do that. So tell us the name of this because this is cool. So about every single person who starts a car show on the internet calls yeah. it blank garage. Right. Mine's Vinicom's garage because. Well, where did that come not, from? I'm not an original. No. Um, would have been, I believe, 70s, 80s. My grandfather ran his own automotive garage and it was called Vinicom's Garage out in Springbrook. Um, so, you know, he was very mechanically skilled yeah. and that's kind of where my dad started to learn and yeah. he was a mechanic for a lot of years and, you know, so they're both these guys who know how to fix a lot of stuff and I don't really. The idea is that uh, I'm going to try to do as much of it myself because I think that's how you learn. Yep. But uh, dad will just be... I'll be good. He'll be uh, waiting. Ready Riding to the be wings? Called. In yeah. the wings? So yeah, um, it's not only is it about me trying to get the car running, but it's trying to learn how to do this kind yeah. of stuff too. And this was a project that I bought for. This speaks to a lot of people, don't you think? I think so. It's it's not a common thing that yeah. uh, a lot of people buy these kinds of things, and then it just sits like mine has yeah. for six years. Yeah. And um, I think finishing something like this is not very common. So so, so we're gonna have a lot of fun watching you like. Dad, seriously, come on in. You <laughs> figuring it out, things yes. working, not working. And one day, who knows when, season 14, <laughs> um, when you take it out on the road. Yeah, it's not about doing it right. It's just about getting it done. And that's going to be part of the story. And, and maybe part of it will be taking a drive to your grandfather's place because, again, his garage is still there with almost everything intact, right? Yeah, yeah. It would be nice to take it and Wouldn't it? see where he started it all. Wouldn't that be a great, a great little cliffhanger? <sighs> mm hmm well, Nick, I'm already signed up. I'm, I'm going to be watching with popcorn. I don't know what you eat for a garage show, but I'm going to be eating it because <laughs> I love to eat. And, and so what, what would you suggest? What should I eat with this? Uh, something quick because you got to get back to the shop. Right, right, <laughs> right. Okay, good. Well, Nick stepped out just, just quickly to be in front of the camera. But Nick, 
I know you got to get back behind the camera, but yeah, this uh, is coming maybe we soon. Cut to the shop right now. Let's cut to the shop right now and let's get her going. But from here on in, you're on. You're in yep. front of the camera guy. Welcome to the garage, and here it is, my 1972 Oldsmobile Cutlass. Talk about starting the show off with a bang. I accidentally recorded over day one of the first episode, which is a bummer. Luckily, I didn't get much done that day. So where we're starting with the car is fixing a repair I tried to make about six years ago. There was some rust in this door. I took it upon myself to try to cut the rust out and weld in a new piece of metal which failed miserably. <laughs> so uh, now that I've got the welder all dialed in, I'm ready to actually go and make it right. What you missed in that first day is basically me trying to cut out a bigger hole and realizing that this die grinder just didn't have enough power to cut through it and uh, I had problems with the air compressor this was just bogging down when I was trying to cut through the metal so basically I needed to buy a better tool and I did. I bought this actual cutoff wheel um, and I also bought some cutoff discs for the angle grinder so that I was actually able to cut this out. So let's go to day two of working on this car. Okay, I thought that was going to be the easy part and uh, turned out to be the hardest, but it is now done. So I ended up going back to the angle grinder just a little bit for the bigger stuff. The new tool does work, but it just seems like the air compressor doesn't have enough volume or something like that to really run it really well. So you can only do it in short spurts and then you have to let the, ang or the, you have to let the uh, air compressor catch up. So. Uh, yeah, but everything worked out really well. That little tool was nice for getting into the corners and then the angle grinder took out the big stuff really quick. So I now have a much larger hole in the car. Um, what I got to do now is grind all the paint away and then I'll um, use some cardboard and make a template for the new piece of metal and then I'll weld it and then I'll continue welding for probably the next two to three years. Um, spend a ton of money on it, put an engine in it, and be driving it. So, it's a long-term goal, starting right here. Very, very long-term goal. All right, um, if I'm being honest, I'm not so sure this is gonna work. The problem I seem to be having is, I don't know, the, the lines that I made just aren't very straight. 
um, and I'm thinking there's going to be too much of a gap, especially here. I might try to cut a little piece of metal to go in there and see if I can kind of save this. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty disappointed with how this is going so far. Um, it's definitely a lesson that I need to really look at how to get these panels cut out really well. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna fire the welder up and see if I can kind of save this. And if not, to be honest, this whole door panel should probably be replaced anyway, so... I mean, maybe that's what I'll end up doing. We'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna give this a try and see if it works out, and if not... Oh well, at least I tried to do something, right? Well, I'm not going to do a close-up on this because it's not great at all. Remember when I said if you're an actual welder, I'm sorry? Well, I stand by that statement. Um, but I've got some weld all the way around it here. So what I'm going to do now is grind this down flat. And then I'll have to fill in, fill in some of these spots that didn't really weld quite nice. Um, so there'll probably be one or two more rounds of welding around this and um, yeah Bondo is gonna be my friend <laughs> for sure if I keep doing my own body work oh man you know I think this is gonna be one of the things that I laugh about in 10 years like just how not great it is um, but right now in this moment not 10 years from now I'm really happy with this because it's the first actual piece of like work I've done to the car that's actually progressing it instead of just taking it apart further. So, um, yeah. My welding is really, really bad, but I am still very happy about this. Now I got some grinding to do. Bondo applied to the front of the replacement panel and I've painted the inside of the panel so that it hopefully won't rust and uh, I'm gonna call it for the night here I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out so here's the thing I have had this car for six years and nothing has been done to it except take it apart this is the first time I have actually succeeded in fixing something on this car and making it this much closer to actually running and driving. Um, so it would not surprise me at all if in the future I need to come back and fix this again. But at this point, I feel like if I keep worrying about trying to make it perfect and do everything 100% right, I'm just never gonna drive it. Because that was the problem for the last six years is I had all of these huge ideas of what I wanted to do. That's why I took it apart to the point that it is. Because I, had this whole plan of doing a bottom-up restoration on the thing and I mean it's just I don't think it's ever gonna get to that level and right now 
I'm just dying to drive it. So I'm just going to do what I have to do to get it safe and roadworthy, and then I'm going to drive it. Um, hopefully it's not going to take me another six years. So thanks for joining me on my first actual success with this car. And uh, keep your eyes open because I'm going to have a lot more videos with my car coming soon.